519 healthcare workers uh, have formed part of this legal action, challenging the state government's mandatory vaccination policy, which is only days away from coming into effect. Uh, this mandate requires all healthcare workers, doctors, nurses, psychologists to have had at least one dose of the COVID-19 vaccination uh, uh, or an appointment booked by the end of the month. Uh, and they've been told that um, they've been warned that if they don't do that, then they will be sacked, their employment will be terminated uh, and they will not be paid. So the group bringing this legal action forward uh, has said that that mandate is unlawful. They've said it's an abuse of power. Let's take a listen. If it's mandated and there's penalties for not complying, then that's coercion and that's illegal. Some of them have uh, had to uh, submit to getting the jab. Some have said uh, that they uh, are really afraid that they're going to have to uh, do it before uh, the deadline on the 30th, so they've got no choice but to do it. And uh, some have uh, just basically said that they are completely against the, the issues in regards to the professional conduct issue because they feel that it's an illegal uh, thing to, put a, to impress upon uh, the workers. So, Alex, what happens next? Well, just because of how slowly the court system works, uh, it's a, just about impossible that this matter will be dealt with before the mandate comes into effect at the end of the month. So the group is seeking an injunction. Uh, so it means that the mandatory vaccination policy would be suspended until the outcome of the case can be decided. So if they manage to get that injunction, it means that these healthcare workers could be buying themselves months more time uh, to be working in the healthcare system unvaccinated. If they're unsuccessful, of course, then they will be sacked. But more generally, uh, it could take months before this uh, matter is resolved. And the group has said that if they are unsuccessful, Guy, then they will be taking this to the High Court.